Coach Ben here with another episode of Coach Ben's Training Quick Bites. Going to take you through this week of training. First up is the squats. Got on the SSB bar in my suit this week. Straps down. Um, so I actually added the briefs to the suit as well. Um, the SSB is a great, great way uh, to get some quality work in when you're in the suit because normally you have to place that bar high bar when you're in a suit with the straps up. So I love using the SSB bar because it mimics it a little bit more than me just squatting low bar all the time. So normally you might get pitched forward in the suit. The SSB bar is going to force you to drive back into it um, so you don't get pulled forward. Right? You got to stay up on those handles. You got to drive that back into the bar and you got to keep a solid core. All right. So you really got to work on bracing through that belt. Um, within sitting back to the box hitting all those things right so what we did this workout is we just progressively added chains so i had about 60 percent bar weight on 425 on the bar just kept adding chains each set until it was moderately heavy all right so we worked it to a top set that was around 735 at the top next up is bench wasn't trying to go too crazy this session was staying out of the shirt because upcoming at the end of the week, we had a really big bench session, meet attempts to the boards. So had to uh, plan light for this one, got 415 to a one board, was raw. So in theory, that was a little bit heavier, but it's light because it's still raw work. So the nervous system overload is controlled. Plus it's for a five repper that was moderate. So uh, it wasn't anything too crazy, even though the weight was relatively high compared to my raw bench which seems to be moving up, but board work is a great way to uh, put in that second bench session when you're training equipped because you're hitting the lockout. I actually used competition grip, so I went as wide as I would in my shirt, raw, and just it really forced me to work that spread. And you could feel it when you're working raw, how hard you have to spread and push out. That's why I hate using that term elbow flare because in a shirt you never want to uncontrollably flare. You want to keep a controlled spread and you'll just naturally come back and your elbows will come out. All right, on to the next big bench session. This was meat attempts to the boards. I was planning to take 700 to a double to the half board. My theory with the shirt, if you can comfortably double something to a half board, that's probably a good opener in the meat. Second attempt was 750, that was to one board. And then I took the big 800 to one and a half and it was one of those unbelievable sessions where everything was just dialed in. You're gonna put any weight in my hands, I was gonna move it. It was really that easy that day. It was crazy. Um, I had to actually check my, my calculations that the numbers were correct. But been slamming upper back lately. That is a weakness of mine. I'm very imbalanced from the front to the back. And how I explain it is, you're only gonna be as fast as your brakes allow. So you're not gonna travel 100 miles per hour if you have shitty brakes, okay? But you can travel 100 miles per hour if you have a really good set of brakes. And that's what your rear delts and your upper back do for you. If you have good brakes there, you have good development there, you're actually going to express more pressing power because it's safe to do so. Your body says, okay, I have a good set of brakes. I'm going to express that strength as much as I got. So that's really, really critical when we're talking bench pressing. They have a well-developed back as well. Not only for that back, but just the fact that you can have so much more control with the weight. I was locked into that bar, 800 felt like a feather. And that's not, a, that's not even joking. It actually felt like I was moving 650. It felt really, really good. And I attribute it to a lot of the upper back that we've been hitting in the past month. We just did a video on that, top three exercises. A lot of elbow out rows and a lot of pull ups, things that I might not necessarily be good at back a month ago, I'm getting a lot better at now and it's contributing big time. So I encourage you to throw that into your training as well if that's a weak point for you. All right, guys, that's a week of training. Deadlifts are going to be a little bit later. Sorry I don't got no footage of that, but you don't want to see me deadlift anyway. Coach Ben here, and I'll see you next week.